Now, Health Watch on Boston's WB56. Three words you hope you'll never hear your doctor say. You have cancer. But the reality is countless Americans are diagnosed with cancer every day. From breast to lung to colon cancer, the disease has many forms. But now there's one test that can detect all of them. Health Watch reporter Darcy Fisher is here. Tell us how it works. Darcy? Hi, Frank and Karen. One vial of blood. That's all doctors need to tell if you have cancer. It's a test that many don't know about, a test developed right here in Boston. Breast cancer, colon cancer, leukemia, brain tumors. Imagine if one vial of blood could tell you that cancer is lurking somewhere in your body. Well, that's the idea behind the AMAS test. Uh, that's a test which measures quantitatively the amount of a certain antibody in the serum. And that antibody is made against a protein that's in cancer cells only, not in normal cells. AMAS stands for anti-malignant antibody in serum. The AMAS test can't tell you what type of cancer you have, only if there's cancer growing inside you. So it measures rapid replication, actively dividing cells. It doesn't matter which cell type they are. 28-year-old Elizabeth Conti's doctor ordered the AMAS test for her. The Beacon Hill resident thought she'd beaten thyroid cancer a decade ago, but back in November... It came back in a lymph node. Uh, she thought it would be a good idea just to get the test um, to make sure that it hadn't spread anywhere else that they just didn't detect. The AMAS test isn't recommended for everyone. People like Elizabeth who've already had cancer are good candidates. So are people who are at high risk because of family history. The test is said to be about 95% accurate when detecting early stage cancer. However, it's an entirely different story when it comes to late stage disease. The story is entirely different in late cancer. And the reason is that the antibody gets overwhelmed by large numbers of cancer cells. And you don't, you're not able to get an accurate test if you have advanced cancer. But cancer not all cancer. oncologists are convinced. Uh, it has not sort of been subjected to the kind of scrutiny that some of our other tests, are, you know, that, that we generally uh, expect from tests that we bring into practice. Elizabeth's test came back negative for cancer. Her doctor is recommending she take the AMAS test every year or so to make sure her cancer doesn't return again. I would definitely do it again. Yeah, and must have given you peace of mind. Yes, definitely. The AMAS test must be ordered by your doctor. Now, it's not recommended in place of traditional screening tests like mammograms or colonoscopies, but Dr. Bogosh does believe one day it may be used in conjunction with those traditional screenings.